Hello, I am Gepwin, and welcome back to Besiege, the marvelous, manic, manly, maniacal game about blowing things up. And car horns, apparently. Yeah. So while we're waiting for the next major update, which the devs say is any time now, I can't wait. I can't wait to have more islands and things and, and cool junk. Did you see the Did you see the preview shots they did? There's some kind of flying, spiky stone level. It looked really awesome, and I want it. I just I just want it now, right now, to give it to me. I don't I don't care if it doesn't. Also, I whacked my microphone with my gesticulating. Don't gesticulate next to your microphone. It gets dirty and you bump it. It makes weird noises. I really need to get a um. I really need to get a shock mount for my mic. You know, you, you hear that when I hit the keyboard sometimes, see? If I hit the desk, it goes boom, 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 and I need to fix that. I apologize for the boom, boom, boom. I just I need to improve my setup slightly. Ever so slightly. I love my setup, but, but yeah, needs a very slight improvement. So I had a cool idea for a ballista. I don't think I'm going to be able to build it in the box, but I'll start in the box and see. I always like to start in the box and just see if I can, if I can complete it that way. It makes kind of a... It makes an interesting little extra bit of challenge. You know, if you can make it, if you can make it stage legal, I like to do that. And we're gonna start. Nope, not those. Not those. The other ones. Where are my other ones? Where are my other ones? There we go. I'm gonna start with the uh, butch mabobbers track things. Low friction thingies. Wow, head. Come on, go, 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 gadget brain. It's not something you want to get from Inspector Gadget. Yeah, like that. I have, I woke up with a migraine, and the pain pills are kind of making me a little woozy. Hard to concentrate all of a sudden. Not nothing too bad. Flight, right? I need a ballast block. I'm gonna use my same old method. My good old method for re reloading the thing with springs. Like, they're gonna build a pretty standard ballista body, and then I had a neat idea for the reloading system that I think is pretty useless and will be fun. <laughs> no, right there. There we go. That's what I want. Then this needs to be kind of on even terms with these. And then we'll give this a quick test and see if it's still functioning. So basically, we just need this spring to be on a different button that we're never going to use for anything. So let's call it, um, actually I like to call it R in case I do need to use it, then it's reload. But this spring should uh, bring this elastic back when we are done. So let's build a really quick, oops, build a really quick stand. We're going to need to be, the stand's going to be weird on this one. Build a really quick stand, and then a really quick little bolt, just to test this thing out and see if we got it got it working okay. And fire! Oh, kinda, kinda working okay. I need to deal with the deal with uh, some of our problems. So we can't build it inside of the box. Yeah, I didn't care that much about it anyway. Need to bring this forward a little bit. These need to extend past the... These do ex need to extend past the front a little bit more to make the reload work fine. Whoosh. Ah, so close. Come on. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. So very close, but we'll we'll get that working. We'll get that working. Okay, just uh, one more. I mean, I know I need to strengthen the structure a lot, but there we go. I just want to make sure that if I whack it, it'll go back to there. Yep, that's basically what I wanted. Make sure that if I whack it, it goes back to where it was. It's very important. You, uh, you really want that in a, in a device. Everything I say sounds dirty today. I think I'm not being very careful about the words I choose. And then we just need to make sure that we strengthen up the structure a little bit. Get everything nice and 
Uh, something or other strengthened. Oh, and this is in the wrong place. Why are you in the wrong place, you little cord? You silly little scamp. Silly scamp. Need my spring back again. Spring goes on the inside, you silly little thing. There, now it's pretty strengthened and can stand up to multiple impacts, except for some of the bits that most need to stand up to multiple impacts. But it doesn't really bend much. And it, uh... There. Whoops, stop that. It doesn't bend much, and it kind of works. Whoosh. Okay, mostly works. We'll need to work on that a little. Fine-tune some of this later on, but we've got the main structure kind of going. Uh, let's, let's do 50%. Let's see if that helps. Just want to hold it back a little more. Whoosh. Okay, you gotta hold down the button. You gotta hold down the button to make sure it doesn't go too far. If you just tap the button, it goes way too far. There we go. Alright, hold down the L button. This is the this is what we're doing. Alright, now. We most definitely want this to be a multi-shot ballista. It's the entire point of this exercise. I had a cool idea for how to make it reload. And it's gonna be more or less useless. And I think that's great. So let's go up a couple. We'll have our ballista bolt here. So it should be about like this. And then let's just see if we, oops. Yeah, let's see, we, we have one down and then build our ballista out this way like that with the spiky and then we put in our grabber there is where the first little bit of reloading will go yeah and then this is how many up from the midpoint this is two three four five Right? That's, that's... If we have it like this, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six radius, 12 diameter. We're going to make a circle. I'm going to jump off really quick and look up a circle chart, because I'm bad at square circles. Actually, after consulting the chart, I think I need to use the 11 diameter circle, because I was counting this block in the middle twice. Which works fine for me. So we need to go over a bit and then in and then over and some other wonky things. Uh, this is going to take a minute. Okay, this is not going the way that I wanted. Back, 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 back. I need to take this out of the middle here. I need to take this one out, put it back in later. So we need it to be able to go up to, over to, right? I was going off the chart and I think I messed up somewhere. Chart's easy to mess up. Over to, right? And then this is where your bolt goes. Over to, and then this is where your bolt goes. And down to, oh, that's going to run into a bit of a problem, isn't it? And then down two, and this is where your bolt goes. Ooh, it's not going to work, is it? No, that's going to be it. Well, might work. Okay, it might work out. That's that shouldn't be attached, right? Tell me that's not attached. Come on, you don't be attached. Don't be that guy. Good, not attached. Okay, might scrape, but it's not attached. That's where our bolts are. 
Now I'm a stickler for this, so I want these all to go in the right direction. Then our bolts need a connection on the top here. This one's in the wrong place. Over one. There we go. Connection on top here. And then they all connect to one there. And then this is our grabber. Like that. Like that. And like that. There's our grabber block. Oh. Did not envision this being quite so complicated. And each one of these went out by two. Out by two. Okay, I had it right, just uh, Yeah, it goes out by two and then it connects here. Which is a weird connection. Let's go up and then over and up over. I need to force this connection somehow. There. Yeah, we need to. That's the weird bit. We have to force it to connect there. Makes my circle all weird and uneven and I don't like it. Alright. That circle should be in. I need to go down to this one. Okay, okay, now we're... Whoops, this one is not connected, is it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, now we're... Now we're going. Now we're getting our circle going. Okay. Just took a minute. In and in and then down and around. Okay, okay, okay. This should... This should work. So now we've got our ballista and a free-floating circle around it. Excellent. That's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I was hoping to get. Ah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful! Look at it, it's beautiful. Need spikes. Spikes and spikes. I wish this one was not so close to the bottom. I think that's gonna... Might cause problems. Maybe not. Maybe not, but we'll see. So we need a drive wheel, and we need a thing at the front to make sure that it can rotate properly. So that will get that would get in the way. That a drive wheel up here would get in the way. So we need a we need a swivel joint, and um, I'm thinking a ballast block. It's very very low profile. Then we just need to strut it up, strut 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 it, strut it, strut strut your stuff. The stuff, I mean, uh, use these inexplicably non-existent things to pass through otherwise solid blocks and allow you to support a structure that should not be freestanding. That strut your stuff sounds more concise. And now let's see if this breaks. Ah, oh, come on. It can rotate fine, it's just stuck in- wait, what? It's off axis. It's off axis! No! No, you bloody thing! Ah, oh, okay. I know what I did wrong. The circle should be up one, because I built it off of, uh... I don't know how I'm going to support it in the front now, but, uh, the drive wheel needs to be up one here. Drive wheel needs to be there. Now I don't know how I'm going to support it on the front. We'll see. That's going to be a problem now. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Going to be a definite uh, problem. Well, first let's let's put our support struts on this and see what we get. That was surprisingly solid, even though it was not. Uh, not turning on the right axis. Now this isn't going to work because it's too cantilevered. Whoa! That's a lot of torque. And it would work except for the cantilevery bit. I'm not sure if we put a... If we put this here... Is it going to... 
If we put this here and then like support it with a couple of these, that shouldn't work. That's not gonna hold, is it? No, that just falls. Just falls down. Falls right the way down. Well, what if I put it like this? Does it still spin if it's connected there? Oops. Yeah. Um, would help if we still had this. Oh, and I need to replace uh, that one. Does it still spin, and can this pass through it? Oh. It's still one low, though, isn't it? Dang it. Dang, 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 da dang, da dang. We're using weird building techniques that let stuff float in midair for no reason, huh? It's easy to get confused. I'm easily confused. It's one of those things about me. I need to close that. You can use these techniques in weird ways. It's it's fun. It really is fun to kind of work around the physics engine. Now if we fire, it gets stuck. <laughs> Oh, so that's not going to work. That stuck in beautifully weirdly. Oh, I love it. I love it. That was hilarious. I mean, it's, it's not useful to us, but it was funny as heck. Okay. Uh, we need to be able to turn and avoid some weirdness at the same time. If I put these on, it's going to clip, isn't it? Oh, that's not going to work in the first place. Hmm. I think what we might need to try to do is like cantilever this out in a weird way. Cantilever it out the back. With some... With a lot of support structure going this way. Yeah, a lot more support structure going this way to keep it from turning quite so much. I mean, this might not work. And it is kind of preventing it from bending down a little bit. Need this to be way more stable. We made a wheel though. <laughs> oh, this is creating a huge challenge and I don't like it. I thought this was gonna be simple. I thought it was gonna be simple. Ah! Should have built the wheel axis down here. That's what I should have done. I think it's what we still need to do. We need to go back, and we need to build the wheel axis down there. So we need to redo our entire freaking wheel. Probably at a different size, too. Back through all the experiments. And we're back to our basic ballista. Basic ballista. We need to base it off of the middle, and that'll make it way easier. So I want the ballista to sit... I want the ballista bolt to be able to sit around and here when it's coming around. Alright, we have the ballista bolt about there. Which gives us plenty of clearance on this. Get out of the way, replace this guy. Go the right direction, you silly, silly thing. That gives us plenty of clearance. And that is one, let's see, one, two, ah, dang it, why did I not just count these. One, two, three, four, and then five, six up. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Three, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. One, 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 two, three, four. 
Five, six, up more, up more, please. Thank you. Five, six. That's 13 in diameter. That is huge, huge, but on the plus side, we might be able to add more, um, more of these. That'd be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? I think that would be nice. And the ballista bolts go here. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Back, 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 back. I want to keep my ballista bolts standard. Two in, and then there, and then, yeah. And then build it forward. Thank you, and in the, into the back, back one. Yep, and then there, Give you. Most of that's going to go away. You just need some basic structure. And put this back. You gotta learn to build around your stuff here. There we are. Just like that. That'll work. That'll work much better. Now we're on the correct axis and everything, and we've also got some clearance down here. Ah, oh, it's going to work so much better once we get this done. Now I need to look up a 13 diameter circle. Whew, it's going to be huge. Actually, it looks a little easier to build. So we need the middle, and then we need to go out by two on each side, and then in one, and then over by two, and then in one, and over by a couple. It's actually all twos, which uh, might make it simpler to connect stuff. Ah, yeah, now I just need to figure out how to get these to, to force these to connect up. be kind of terrible, isn't it? There we are. Yeah, pretty symmetrical. Symmetrical enough. There's easier ways to make this thing reload. I know there are. I know there are. This is actually, actually the point is not to make it easy. The point is to make it interesting. There's my mobile boy, mobile thingies. Doobie 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 doo. It's a normal one, isn't it? Yeah. And the swivel joint on the front. Yeah, now all these need to be back so that I can make them uh, grabbers. Get rid of those. Make all these grabbers. And then we'll need to make them different uh, different hotkeys. Oh, I didn't replace that one. I want my ballista blocks to all go the same direction. Dang it, I hate that I can't do that. There we go. I really want them to put it in so that we can have the grabbers just just put stuff on the grabbers. I mean, we've got the workaround to do it. So just let us do it. Everyone's using it. Either, either decide it's really not how you wanted us to use grabbers and take out the workaround, or make it easier for us to do. That's usually the design philosophy on this kind of game. You're exploiting something we didn't necessarily want you to be able to exploit. And is it something that we feel improves the game? Yes, no. If it's something that improves the game, make it a feature that is easier to accomplish and doesn't need the workarounds. If it is not, fix it so that you can't do it. I'd prefer the, uh, I'd prefer the first one. There we go, like that, and then... Yeah, in to here, up to there, and continue around. So now we have what looks like one of those Vulcan spaceships from Star Trek. The real ridiculous thing is the sheer amount of extra support structure that we need to go around this wheel. Maybe we actually need this thing to go down to here in order to to accommodate this giant freaking wheel we got. It's insane. <laughs> well, let's just make sure everything stands up okay. I'm fine with it being ridiculous and silly. I might even try to make it aimable. I, mean, I kind of like that if we could adjust the aim and stuff first. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, it's ridiculously solid. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes. Oh, I love it. All right, now we need to change the change the keys on these. Stop it. Don't destroy. No, 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 no. Do not destroy. Do not destroy. I'd be so mad. One. Let's make you two. Let's make you... Nope, nope, nope. You should be four. You should be four. We're going around that way. So this one should be two. And then this one should be three. So, we fire. We miss and we ruin the machine. We fire. We fire. Oh. We put our other spring back. We must have gone back to a version where I was about to replace the spring. There we go. So, we fire. We make sure that this thing is in the right place. Come on. We drop it. We fire. Yeah, then we spin around. Spin around. Spin, spin, spin. Two. Fire. Aha. Spin around. Ah, I broke it. I broke it. It was my fault. But three. Fire. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how it's supposed to work. <laughs> Let's see if we can make this thing aimable. I have an idea. Let's get a couple wheels on this bugger. Wheel. Wheel. Um I actually just want some wheels on the back, and then uh, a wheel on the back that can let it turn, and I don't know what to do about the front quite. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do about the front bit. Maybe do this. Will that, will that work? If we put you on the ground. Nope. No, it's not strutted enough. Struts! Strut the frick out of the thing. Actually, this might be enough to help. Yeah, but now these aren't touching the ground. This is kind of going to be a problem for the turning part. What if actually I replace this one with the drive wheel? Change, uh, yeah, make sure that these are not active. The wheel speed to zero so that it can't, so when I use this it won't turn. Yeah, that's a nice one. Wheel speed to zero. Then we'll use this and change it to uh, left and right. Oh, come on. Hey, stop that. You were working before. I know you're not really attached well, so shut up about it. Just need to spread out where the forces are going. Then, yep, we can steer it. We can steer it, sort of. Can't move it forward or backward, but we can steer it sideways. So it's aimable. Aimable. Fire! Nice. Drop one. Fire! Gotta make sure you hold down the L button. Round we go, round we go, roundy, 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 stop, round, round, stop, 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 two, fire! Round, 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 up, 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 ba! Three, fire! Ooh, that one broke. And four. Finally, number four. Last shot. Do something awesome. Fire! I said do something awesome. That was not awesome. That was decidedly unawesome. Under awesome. Ah. Uh, oh, well, here's a giant ring ballista. Sweet! And there it goes. 
Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. How do I make it explode? It always has to explode. How do I make it explode? <gasps> let's see if number four can be a bomb. Actually, let's save it first. Let's save it first. I'll call it the ring. The ring. If you look at it, if you have watched this video, you'll die in some number of days. I never actually saw that movie. So, oops. No, no, I want you to stay there. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna put this down. And then, we'll see if we can load the last one with a explosive. Load it with a explosive. That's what we're gonna do. And then we'll see. We'll see how it works. Well, it didn't blow up immediately. Excellent. So, I've enjoyed this build. I hope you did too. Hey, that's pretty fun. If we stop. Oh! It's roulette! Oh, it's gonna blow up so much. Oh, well, I've really, really enjoyed making this. If you enjoyed watching it, you can leave a like. If you would like to see more videos very much like this one, you can subscribe and check out everything it is I do. I'm Gapwin. So glad to be back at Mystic Age. You need to do more of these videos. Um, actually, send me ideas. If you have things that you want me to try to build in Siege, please send them along because it's just so much fun and sometimes I just can't think anything to build. So if I have a list of ideas from people, it'll, it'll help the videos keep coming. So, given that, like, subscribe, comment, etc. I'm Gepwin. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon.